money, power, status, success, God complex. All this is happening with Diddy. Yeah. Um, there's now questions of, is Diddy working with the feds? Mm. There's people claiming that. So we're going to get into a conversation right now. We okay. saw the brutal video of what he did to Cassie. Mm -hmm. We saw his apology, right? Not so much. So what happens now? And some people are speaking, some people are voicing up, things are resurfacing. But most importantly, Diddy's been spotted here in Miami. You know where we live, you know yeah. what's going on down there. Lives five minutes from me. Rob was just down there hanging out <laughs> on the beach. No pants, can't cancel no Rob. Pants. But was wearing TM this shirt or maybe not a yes. shirt, who knows? No OnlyFans but, yet, no OnlyFans. <laughs> but um, TMZ, as they do, mm -hmm. uh, Diddy lives on Star Island. Uh, if you're familiar with Miami, not hard to find or to access. They went into his neighborhood. Mm. And um, here's what happened when they spotted Diddy. Let's roll this. Hiya. Are you okay? Are you all right, man? Appreciate it, man. I hope you're good, man. Good all right, cheers. Diddy, we're just trying to figure out what's going on, that's all. People just want to know if you're if you feel sorry if things are gonna you know what's going on with that. I'm sorry to bug you. All right. Love. Have a good day. All right. You too. So he throws up the L sign for love. You know, I thought that he, was a loser sign. What's that loser? <laughs> no, because he was like, calling himself love, right? Yeah, he had yeah. changed his name. After love. the pandemic. Yeah. 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 Look, yeah. everybody who's been following hip hop, he was. Puff Daddy, then he was Diddy, then he was P Diddy, then he was Brother Love, and he's then he now. was Welcome to uh, Diddy's Flavor Town. Like he's changed his name constantly, um, but now he's all about the love. It's the interesting L. with the love, the L. Uh, I love how you're saying the L for loser. 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 Uh, great take right Only there. Only a loser hits, but hits, hits women. Mm. Fully agree with that. Um, so the LA District Attorney also weighed in on this um, latest situation. They said, they can't prosecute Diddy over the video of him beating up Cassie. This was on May 17th. They said, quote unquote, if the conduct depicted occurred in 2016, unfortunately, we would be unable to charge as the conduct would have to be, would have occurred beyond the timeline where the, st where the crime of assault can be prosecuted, AKA the statute, statute of limitations. limitations. Uh, we've all heard this before, but that didn't stop what has become Diddy's like rival 50 Cent from making a statement. Did you familiar? You guys familiar with what 50 Cent? Oh God, they saying? hate each other. Like yeah. 50 Cent's always saying something about Diddy. Like, but they were friends at one point, right? <laughs> were they? I mean, in New York, they were both from New York. They were nah, both rappers. I think that they was were. very short-lived. That was short-lived, no doubt. Um, but here's 50 statement after um, what the LA District Attorney said. He said, "This is why they put that tape out." They know they can't charge him with what we saw, but they know we can't unsee what we saw. Agreed. Interesting. 100%. So, Agreed. Um, is there any chance anyone's going to ever think of Diddy in the music mogul, um, Ciroc light, or is it all, uh, Ciroc, you know, his whole vibe, or is it just, he's the woman abuser now? So I read a theory the other day, and it made a lot of sense to me. Um, and the theory is that he's going to go through all of this. He's going to find God. He's going to call to religion. And then mm -hmm. guess what he's going to be? The pastor next pastor. Diddy. Pastor Diddy. Then he'll really be brother love. Mm. Oh. And he can ride that narrative to the, to the, till he's not here anymore. And he'll make more money from and a mega church than he ever made so in the music industry. he will make so much money in a church that we will all be disgusted by that okay well, why so i'm going to take this that? i'm yeah. going to take this somewhere else and and i'm going to take it here for now there is a large segment of the black community that will literally make excuses for anyone who is wealthy and yeah. famous yeah they're like go to the shade room comment section right now probably even in in this comment section right now there's somebody that's making an excuse they're persecuting the black man they're doing He's this they're doing man. that they're using him whatever as a okay right yeah and so 
That is a tactic. Remember, when Jonathan Majors got caught up in his stuff, where did he yep. run? To the NAACP, mm-hmm. to all the black events, whatever. Like, that is a tactic. Who was Jonathan Majors again? Jonathan Majors, uh, the actor. Remember, okay. he got no. he was king in, in uh, the Marvel movies and all yes. that stuff. And he got okay, caught up gotcha. in that... Uh, abuse situation with that young woman that he was dating. Mm-hmm. Now, all of a sudden, how did he rehab his career? He's talking to the black talent on the on the uh, news networks. Right. Um, he's dating Megan Good. Which he's is going the, to the, a good girl. To the oh. M- yeah, good he's girl. going to the, uh, the NAACP. So what I'm saying is this. When it's time for Diddy to do the rebrand, and it, it, it will come. Yeah. He's going to go straight to the church, straight to black people. Yep. Because there's an element of this community that will forgive no matter what. And that's a cultural thing. Because of wealth and power. It's a cultural thing. It doesn't only exist in the black community. It exists in the the Latin community, too, to where it's okay for us to be like, oh, no, you're bad. But don't let any... It's kind of like a sibling. Yeah. Like, I'll pick on my sibling as much as I possibly... But don't you say something Mm, about her. Because this is my sibling. And then I'll take it an even step further is that there is a lot of black men in in this society mm. that feel like like in the black community you know uh, women are exalted over men at all times in right. the media whatever it's all the black woman all this stuff or whatever there's a lot of black men that feel shunted back that that feel ignored that feel whatever when he decides to make his comeback, that's where he will go. Mm-hmm. I promise you, like 100%. Wow. I'm not wow. saying it's good or bad. It's just what is. If I was a crisis, if I was, what was it, Kerry Washington on Scandal, whatever. If I was Olivia Pope or something like that, mm-hmm. and that's I was where a crisis go. person, and I like completely objectively, I'd be like, you go there. You go to the church. You go to the NAACP. You go to black media. You go there. Because Absolutely. what they're going to see with this coming out via CNN and all these other stuff, they're going to see the white media persecuting the black man. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying this is right or wrong. I'm saying what is. Yeah. And I mean, I see that he, as well. Okay, I, I, I have to push back a little bit. Please, he, please. N- not on you. This has nothing to do with black and white. He's beating up his black girl. They don't girl. care. No. They don't I, know. I, I agree with this you. This is not a race thing. But this that's is the you're an abusive dude. It's not literally at not all. a race thing at all. It's you're not, absolutely right. But there's something so deep seated in minority culture that we're so much more forgiving yeah. to our own that really? we don't care how absolutely. bad it was. I'm not denying. He could have like, went on a on a murder spree of newborn babies, and eventually time. Will pass. I'm just telling you, and his own group of people will yeah. always I'm telling rep for you, him no matter and what. I'm not Rob, saying call I your agree. shot right now. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Call What's it. gonna happen? What's yeah. gonna happen? He's gonna lay low. It, like I don't yep. know what else is gonna come out. Maybe there are things that are worse than this. Yep. I don't know mm. if there's anything that can come out about him that's worse than this. But if you listen to Can't yeah. Cancel Rob Smith, I got into this in a previous episode. Uh, follow on Apple Podcasts and YouTube at Can't Cancel Rob Smith. But anyway, six, nine, twelve months from now. That's when the media tour starts, and mm-hmm. it will start with black media. Mm-hmm. It will start there. It will start with churches. Apparently, there were some rumors that T.D. Jakes was going to these Diddy parties as well. I've heard this. Mm-hmm. T.D. Jakes is the leader of a very, very, very powerful Huge megachurch. congregation. Huge. And I, lo- I love mm. T.D. Jakes. I listen to his stuff. I love T.D. Jakes, please. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, his path to redemption goes through the black community Absolutely. because still to this day no matter what we saw and no matter what we saw no matter what we know to be true there's an element of the community that, that's like this black man has achieved this much power this much wealth this much success and he's being persecuted mm-hmm. by those white people i would just like to add to that statement that it's not just limited to black community or latin community yeah. i don't think it's about communities because each community does kind of try to support or you know yeah it's they, a minority they try thing to in su- general. for example if there is a protect white your shooter own, exactly okay. protect yeah. your own if there is a white person who is a shooter at a school all, all of a sudden, there's white people saying that, oh, he's just got mental health problems. So mm-hmm. I don't think it's just limited to, like, the black community or Latin community. This is a problem overall in every community. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying in this specific case, that's his But I agree with you because yeah. he's yeah. already trying to gain there's, sympathy there's from his family. Right there yeah. in a very about. important element, I don't think that that 
path to redemption exists without the church element. In oh, it. yeah. Gotcha. And well, churches they get can be richer. bought. They get richer. Mm. Churches are business. It's yes. called donations. Yeah. Churches are business. Churches are business. So let me tell you something. Yes. I believe in our Lord and Savior Jesus. <laughs> like, I'm a Christian, right? Yeah. Like, I, I believe in God and, and I go to church and all that stuff. But you have to understand, churches are businesses as well. Yeah. You ask how many churches in Chicago have been bought by politicians. You ask how many churches all across the country has been bought by politicians. You have to understand mm-hmm. that this man has limitless resources. Limitless resources. Mm-hmm. Okay, I think that he's going to go through the church. I think that that is correct. Mm-hmm. And I think that in two to five years, we're going to be seeing, oh, pastor, pastor, diddy, all that stuff. It's but how does the church allow that? How does the church because welcome Because the that? church it's is forgiving. The money. It's forgiveness. Let's hope it's right. real, And though. when you got a big fat check in your face, it's really easy to forgive fucked up shit. And, and it's why very, is <laughs> and if you want to sell something you know? to people, especially... If you want to sell something to people, it is very easy to sell it to them if you wrap it up in the right package. Yep. With right. a nice, pretty face on it. Yeah. I mean, people nowadays don't have a lot of faith mm-hmm. unless you're a very strong-minded person or a very strong-willed individual. This is an opportunity for the black church to get more people in the doors. Yeah. And never underestimate the power of deep, deep, deep celebrity. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Deep celebrity. Absolutely. Because and even though we know he's this messed up person he still is a brand he still is a brand so, he's still a celebrity yeah you bring up jonathan majors i'm like who's that nobody's like who's did he what he's like mm-hmm. everyone knows exactly who's talking about yeah, speaking yeah. of people in the black community that everybody kind of knows who they are at this point this is how we kind of started is he working with the feds candace owens mm-hmm. sort of re-echoed what kanye mm-hmm. had to say about diddy on the drink champs podcast not too long ago so here's candace's tweet given props to Kanye saying, go ahead, Nat. It says he's not in jail because he's a, a Fed slash CIA asset. Kanye tried to tell everybody. Okay, so Kanye tried to tell everybody. By the way, did you see that the post was unavailable? Oh. Yeah, yeah, that was, oh, like, that yes. was she referenced, I don't know, what? I, that was a, that's, okay. on a, that's, um, that's Anna Paulina's Twitter account, mm-hmm. Congresswoman okay. Anna Paulina Luna, friend so, of mine. Mm-hmm. And um, name apparently, drop, name drop. Yeah, name drop. Right. I just dropped that name. Right subtle, real subtle. No, a fabulous, a fabulous cover. But either way, I'm, I'm curious as to why that was deleted. But we have the video. Oh, yeah, the video. Of Kanye on the Drink Champs, which takes place here down in Miami. So um, do we he have that, He posted text messages, too. Mm. Okay, let's go. Did all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Because when I was on TV, on Instagram, saying, I don't know where my child is, and the Kardashians kidnapped my daughter in public, and I didn't have the address of my child, none of these niggas that want to say something Travis now. Travis gave you the address, though? Travis gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever, none of these niggas, all you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Wait, Come, wait, no, no, hold on, hold on. Okay. All you fake hard niggas, fuck you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't give a fuck who, because you can't shoot nobody anyway, and the reason why you got talks because you did a deal, you fucking fed. You know what I'm saying? That's why you gotta come at me, because part of the deal for you to be able to do all that da, 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 and get out of jail is that you promise that you're gonna go pull my co car. So y'all niggas shut the fuck up about me. Now let me say it calm. You niggas shut the fuck up about <laughs> Okay, you right shut there. The fuck up about Michael. So mm-hmm. can I make that my ringtone, by the way? <laughs> yeah. like, I just all like the whole thing. So <laughs> Rob, I'm gonna come to you. Yeah. You know, you said that, you know, Diddy, his redemption tour is gonna start with the black church. You know, Kanye, all his music, G. Jesus walks. He's done. I went to a concert of his years ago in Miami. It was, it's gospel, it's church, it's yeah, all that. Yeah. Who has a more of a likelihood of being redemption at this point? Kanye, who got canceled, or Diddy at this point, or is it Diddy just completely so far gone? Well, I, 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 first of all, I don't think that Kanye is in need of redemption. I mean, Kanye's had like two number one albums since he's been quote unquote canceled. So can, mm-hmm. can, Kanye is such a part of the culture mm-hmm. that you can never cancel that, right? Yeah. Like he is in the culture. And also, what, what Kanye needed to be redeemed for was making some anti Semitic con- comments he apologized for, uh, but also like, you know, his Trump support, like that, like that's not mm-hmm. enough, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Kanye's not on video beating somebody, right? So Kanye yeah. doesn't There's levels need, to this. Yeah, I agree. Kanye doesn't need redemption because he hasn't been canceled. So, so what, yeah. what's the likelihood based on what Kanye is saying? Because Kanye, loose with the lip. Very loose. What's the likelihood that he's just talking smack no. or that there is some truth to the fact that he knows that Diddy is working with the feds. No, I think that there's a lot of truth to that fact. Really? I, absolutely, Why I do. Why do you say that? Uh, because, number one, I think this. 
I remember doing media at the time. Like, I was doing the cable news thing back when Kanye came out for Trump, right? And I was mm-hmm. like, I was battling with all these people on cable news. Well, Kanye's crazy. He's bipolar, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, blah, blah, blah. Um, I never really believed any of that stuff. I really believe that he's just somebody that speaks truths that he's not supposed to speak, right? Mm-hmm. If you're high up in entertainment, high up in politics, high whatever, there's a level that we see and then there's the behind the club, like like you go to meet the wizard and go behind mm-hmm. the curtain. The curtain, yeah. Right? And so I know as a political commentator, right, like there are things that everybody knows that you're not supposed to say. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to sort of, you know, push whatever yeah, agenda is or not say this, whatever. There's, levels. there's always a level Kanye of discretion. Kanye never had that, so he was always speaking the truth, but everything that he said ended up being true, right? So obviously... Um, Diddy and a lot of these people are fed in CIA assets. Obviously, they're feeding a lot of information to the feds about uh, the the sex trafficking that a lot of these rappers are doing, that the drugs, everything else. You listen to the lyrics. I did a podcast episode about this. Listen to, there's a Megan The Stallion song called Body. One of the lyrics is, if they all came with you, if you brought a group of girls, they better know exactly what the fuck they came to do. Oh, damn. If you come here. And this here, is a, a woman singing this This is a singing woman this singing song. about this. They are literally so- telling you that they are sex trafficking. They are sight. telling you that they are Absolutely. selling sex. It is all in the lyrics. You think that there's not fed assets all up and through that industry? Do you think that there's somebody there that has not had that video of Diddy assaulting Ka- Cassie mm-hmm. for years Ooh. waiting to drop that? Yes. Mm-hmm. Holding that over Absolutely. his head. Do you think that our most powerful people in Congress and media and government or whatever, the, some of the things that they vote for in Congress, like they've got stuff on all all of these people. I Ooh. mean, it's not only that, it's vice versa too. Like some of these congressmen, these politicians, yeah. these artists, they were all at those parties. Absolutely. <laughs> like, let's be yeah. real. Like, let's be honest. Something really important I'd like to highlight about cancel cu- culture is that the more canceled you are, the more likable you are in today's world. Mm-hmm. Look at Andrew Tate, look at Sneeko, look at Kanye. So, you know, you saying mm. that is Didi canceled? We don't know because according to today's trend, the more canceled you are, you have more fans and the more likable you are. Again, I'm not comparing Diddy with Andrew Tate here, Mm -hmm. but I'm just trying to show the pattern that it doesn't stop. You're absolutely right. And I had this conversation with Michael Sartain where he said in today's social media culture, it's just all about the amount of eyeballs and clicks and views you get. And there's no discernment between good and bad anymore. Mm -hmm. And we gave the example of like back in the 80s and 90s, it was Rocky versus Drago, the good guy, the bad guy. Mm-hmm. It was um, mm-hmm. Hulk Hogan, pro-America versus the Iron Sheik. Like, it was a very clear distinction on who was bad and who was good. Now, you know, the Fire Festival guy, Billy McFarlane. Mm-hmm. All right, he's a piece of shit. Let's get him on the podcast. Yeah. Jake Paul. All right, is he a good guy? Is he a bad guy? I don't know. Let's do a fight with him. Tyson's doing a fight with him. But at some point, yes, that fame... You're absolutely right. The cancel culture, everything with that, even Kanye. But what Diddy's doing right now, I just, there's, will redemption be there? Here's my last question for yeah. you on this segment. You, you made such a good point about God complex, Most Messiah complex, about having um, the fame, the status, the money, the wealth, that, and it leads you to this delusion of like, I'm there. Who do you think is actually more God complex like? Diddy? Or Kanye? I think Kanye. Um, I, and I think that Kanye learned how to tame the monster. And Kanye mm. actually found God. Right? And you can tell that within the music. That at some point, at some point, Kanye had it all and everything and everything. And at some point, you realize that it's kind of empty. Right? Like, I, like none of us will ever know what it's like to be operating at that level. But right. I think that... We probably all had differing levels of fame or success or whatever, and you get to a point where there's just so much right in front of you, and it's just like, man, if this is all there is, this is super empty, right? So Kanye found God. I think that his Messiah complex and his God complex is probably higher than Diddy's. Um, But Kanye was able to, like that quote you used earlier, tame the monster. Mm. Diddy was not able to tame the monster. And if you cannot tame the monster and if you cannot find something that is at a higher level than what this culture has to offer you, it will ultimately destroy you. So this is what I think. We're at Valuetainment. This is PBD's thing, right? I've done the PBD podcast before. So you have somebody that is a super, super high level, high net worth entrepreneur that 
has access to everything in the world and has decided to use that platform mm -hmm. to elevate other people, to educate people, to inform people, to do the books, to do the consulting, to do all of that stuff, that person has made a choice to use this level of fame and access in a positive way. Yeah, in a sense to kind of pay it forward. In a sense to kind of pay it forward. Now you have somebody like Diddy who by all accounts, like we know that he's a monster, but by all accounts, if you look at the business practices of the artists that have been on Bad Boy, this dude has been screwing people over that left and right for decades at this wow. point. That's so he's valid. He's obviously never found the Integrity? positivity um, <laughs> in that platform. It's yeah. always been more, 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 yeah. more. So more. here's what I'll tell you. We're going to circle back in 6, 12, 18, 24 months yeah. and see if your prediction about Diddy coming back to the church, the black community, embracing him remains to be true. Remember, Rob Smith said it here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you like that one, click right here to watch the full Sauce cast, And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.